Welcome to the Southern Forest Nursery Management Cooperative presentation. The nursery cooperative is currently headquartered at the School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences at Auburn University. Staff includes Scott Ennebeck, Director and Professor of Forest Pathology, David South, Professor in Seedling Quality and Silviculture, Edward Lowenstein, Professor of Hardwood Regeneration. We also have Tom Starkey as a research fellow, Tommy Hill, Forest Research Technician, Mariki Quick as our research associate, Elizabeth Bowersock is our outreach assistant, and Paul Jackson is a currently our PhD graduate student. The Nursery Cooperative's mission is uh, to identify and disseminate cultural, biological, and chemical technologies in an integrated system for the economical production and utilization of forest tree seedlings in the southern United States. Basically, we like to think of ourselves as problem solvers. The Nursery Cooperative is or originally uh, started in the early 1970s when state and private federal forest industries were facing some critical pest issues that were uh, significantly affecting forestry seedling production. Uh, with that, uh, the co-op moved into weed, insect, and disease control technologies, were examined and developed in the 1980s. And then later in the 1990s, seedling quality and outplanting survival strategies were implemented to increase seedling production and seedling survival. And more recently, in the uh, 2000s, uh, the nursery co-op has become a representative of the nursery community to uh, government agencies such as EPA, USDA, and APHIS regarding policy decisions that do affect nursery business, especially with the re-registration re of pesticides under the Food Quality Protection Act. Current membership include a number of southern states, Arkansas, Georgia, Louisiana, North and South Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Virginia. We have some industrial members. They include Plum Creek, Weyerhaeuser, Rainier, Smurth at Stone. We have some private members as well. They include Arborgen, International Forest Company, and Joshua Timberlands. We also have the U.S. Forest Service as a member. The research conducted by the nursery co-op affects a great number of uh, seedling productions. In uh, 19, uh, 2006, uh, seedling production in the southern U.S. was about uh, 1.05 billion bare root conifer seedlings. We had about 42 million container, 39 million bare root hardwood seedlings, for a total of about 1.13 billion seedlings produced in the southern U.S. Uh, the south uh, is considered the uh, you know the wood basket of the U.S. Uh, about 80 percent of all U.S. seedling production is in the South, and co-op members uh, they produce about 86 percent of the seedlings in the region. Our membership ranges from uh, eastern Oklahoma and Texas through Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, North and South Carolina, and Virginia. Uh, each little white dot is uh, where we membership nursery is. A typical nursery, uh, and here's a nursery cooperative member in Georgia, is about uh, anywhere from uh, 80 to 100 acres, any which two-thirds is in crop. A uh, typical nursery produce anywhere from 25 million, or a decent sized nursery, to 80 million seedlings annually. It is estimated that uh, prior to selective herbicides developed and, and uh, tested by the nursery co-op, uh, this is a typical nursery full of weeds, and uh, it is estimated that uh, weed control costs, uh, we saved about $2 million annually uh, based on 1975 costs. So prior to uh, herbicides that could be used over the top of herbicides, this was uh, growth of weeds in this particular nursery was not uncommon. Some of the more uh, commonly used herbicides now, selective herbicides in in nurseries, include Gold, Cobra, uh, Post, Barricade. So that now uh, seedling beds become virtually weed-free, and uh, nurseries can produce a uh, uniform uh, seedling that can be outplanted. Another one of our accomplishments is that uh, the nursery cooperative uh, led to the labeling of a very important uh, fungicide called trimetophon for fusiform rust control. Uh, it was not uncommon that uh, seedlings needed to be sprayed weekly uh, with a compound and even then uh, it was not uncommon to have two and a half percent rust. 
and with the development of trimetaphon, uh, incidence fell to less than one tenth of one percent. And we also reduced the active ingredient of the pesticides from well over three pounds of active ingredient per acre per year to less than one pound per acre per year. So now when we do find a, a rust seedling, uh, we're all amazed. The other thing the nursery co-op has been instrumental in doing is looking at methyl bromide. Uh, the nursery cooperative has coordinated over the past 10 years uh, 1.6 million dollars research program to find a methyl bromide substitute. Also the nursery co-op has filed a critical use exemption on behalf of the forestry communities in these 12 southern states and the nursery co-op was awarded a critical use exemption uh, in 2005, 6, 2007 and 2008 by the parties of the Montreal Protocon, Protocol through the United Nations. Uh, in addition, uh, nursery co-op scientists have provi provided testimony to Congress on issues related to the Montreal Protocol. And we're currently part of the USDA area-wide methyl bromide alternative program, part of the South Atlantic region. We are um, a membership-driven cooperative, a research-driven uh, program. And thus, uh, all of our research is then brought back to the meeting uh, with our members. We have an annual contact meeting where we uh, bring them up to date with our latest findings. We also hold a nursery technology short course, anywhere from a two to three day course, where we bring newly hired nursery uh, personnel up to date on the latest findings. Uh, we have a web page, which is all our members can access, as well as public access. All our findings are published in research reports and technical notes and sent off to co-op members. And we produce a newsletter uh, a couple times a year. And when things uh, get bad for our co-op members, we go out and do a uh, consult and do a site visit to see if we can't solve their problems. So what is the Auburn Nursery Cooperative? Well, we are a university-based research group. We solve seedling production issues that relate to disease, insect, and cultural control and this is typically directed by our membership. We serve as a liaison to the government regulatory agencies and the nursery community. We are a technology transfer to for seedling producers and we test new chemistry and re-registration of pesticides. For more information on the Auburn Nursery Cooperative you can contact us at the number 334-844-1028 or at email listed above. <laughs>